Um, we made a lot of progress. Uh, let me show you what we got going on. Give you a few tips on how to tear a car down so you know where all those parts go when it's time to put it back together. Hold on. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure you have plastic bags, bins, um, some Sharpies, something to, you know, put everything into. I mean, I got magic marks and everything here I need to do. Um, I had all these bins left over from from something. I forget what we had them for. Um, they make great storage. Put everything into, keep everything clean and dry. Now, everything goes into a bag. Everything gets labeled what it is, where it goes. Now, one of the other things you want to do, too, is when you're doing some disassembly on the car, you want to make note of how things came apart. And I, use, I put little notes on the bags too. Like this is some uh, rear sail panel trim and uh, it actually comes out after the glass comes out. So I made a note how it goes installed. When you do your disassembly, now let me show, pan around here show you how far we did get yesterday. I mean we tore this car's interior completely apart except for the dash and that's got to wait till I get the windshield out. But one of the things you want to make sure you do when you're doing some disassembly in a car is pay attention to the order of how things come apart and some of the little details that you might miss that the factory did because those things will help you during your reassembly okay um, one of the things I noticed because when I, I never took off the uh, dome lights and there's a little sail panel trim that goes here um, but what I found was take a look right here see that little rivet that holds that one corner of the headliner in place right there. So when you go to put your headliner in, you know that there's going to be a little rivet or a, like a nail or pop rivet or something that holds that down. And then you're going to put your plastic sail panel trim right in here. See, there's a screw for that there. Comes down here. There's your other screw for it. And then you're going to put your gasket on. And then you can put your window in. So paying attention to the order of how things came apart is going to help you when it comes time to reassembling the car. Oh, and FYI, that is not for a speaker. <laughs> um, it, it can be for a speaker. We've heard of some instances where there are uh, there is an accessory rear-mounted reverberation speaker, but usually what it's for is for a rear window defroster. You can see there's a hole back there for the ductwork, and a blower motor goes back there. What you see there is you cut that out and that's for the air intake and it blows air across that back window. You'll notice that uh, most people would think, oh, wow, well, you know, we'll just cut another hole out on the other side for another speaker. Well, there's no real cutout for one. Sure, you could put one there, but why? Just put a box in the back. Now, you can see that I've already done some work on this car years ago. So I have actually had this car in pieces before. I've taken it apart so what you see here it took me about four or four and a half hours to get done got everything stripped out tore down and ready to go I mean I have a major pile of parts kicking around that I now have to find out where to put it all but that's just the way it goes now there's a lot more I got to tear down on the card uh, most notably I want to get to the cowl rust which means Windshield's got to come out, dash is going to come out, then I have to decide, am I going to fix it from underneath or am I going to have to cut this cowl panel on the top out and fix it from the top down? I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to stop tearing down right here for right now. I got plenty to do on the back of the car, strip it down. I got some dents in the uh, rear trunk panel, just below the trunk lid where it latches and you saw the corner in the rear window I need to fix. So I got enough to do back there before I do any more tear down. Um, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Um, we'll be taking videos to share pictures on the blog as well. So keep watching. Thanks.